Question two. A worker is packing items in boxes. The table shows the linear relationship between the number of items the worker has packed in boxes after different amounts of time. So guys, this part that is before a table or a graph is usually not very important. Esta parte que está enfrente de una tabla o una gráfica usualmente no es muy importante. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Entonces vamos a mirar aquí. Which statement describes the rate of change of the number of items the worker packed in boxes with respect to the number of minutes the worker has been packing items in boxes? Okay, so there's only one word here that you need to understand. Solo hay una palabra aquí que deben que entender. And that is rate of change. Yes, rate of change. Okay, actually that's three words. Actualmente es tres palabras. But it's one thing. Pero es, pero es una cosa. So all you need to do is remember rate of change. Solo deben que recordar rate of change. Okay, so what is another name for rate of change? ¿Cuál es un otro nombre por rate of change? Rate of change is slope. Es el slope. Okay, and there's a formula for that. Y hay un formula por eso. Okay, so to find the slope, para encontrar el slope, Okay, you're going to go ahead and take a look here. Vamos a mirar aquí in our reference materials. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down. So go down, down, down. Okay, you will need the slope of a line formula. Esta formula, slope of a line, m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is the one that we're going to need. We're going to go ahead and copy it. Vamos a copiarlo. m equals. So m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Remember, slope or rate of change is the letter M. Recuerda que slope or rate of change is la letra M. So to use this formula, para usar esta formula, I need two points. Necesito dos puntos, two ordered pairs, dos ordered pairs. Okay, so I have a few options. Tengo opciones aquí. I have four options. Tengo cuatro opciones. I have one, two, three, Four. It doesn't really matter which two that you choose. No importa cuál dos. I like to use the small numbers. A mí me gusta usar los números pequeños. So I will use 5 and 20 and 7 and 28. So remember, these are a pair. Recuerda que estos son un par. If you pick 5, you have to use 20. Si quieres usar la 5, debes que usar la 20. Okay, you cannot do 5 and 44, for example. Por ejemplo, no puedo usar 5 con 44. It has to be a pair, un par. Okay, this is X, Y, X, Y. This is my first pair, mi primer Y. So my first X, my first Y, mi primer X, mi primer Y. This is my second pair, mi segundo par. So my second X and my second Y, mi segundo X y mi seg segundo Y. Okay, so X, Y, Y, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Please no X1, Y2. Por favor, no X1, Y2. No. Okay, let's go ahead and replace our letters with the numbers. Ahora vamos a reemplazar nuestras letras con los números. Y2 is 28. Copy minus. Y1 is 20. Copy divide. X2 is 7. Copy minus. X1 is 5. Okay, you're going to go ahead and do up first. Arriba primero. 28 minus 20, 28 minus 20, that is 8, 8, copy, divide. 7 minus 5, 7 minus 5, that is going to be 2. 8 divided by 2, 8 entre 2, remember this is division, este es división. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4. This is my answer, so H is my answer. Okay, now remember for what it represents, porque se representa, you remember slope, you have the Y up, la Y arriba, and the X down. So Y, what is Y? Y is the number of items packed, so items packed 
and then divide. X is minutes, sorry. So X is minutes. This line is per. Esta línea es per. So for items packed per, this is singular, singular, minute, no S. So four items packed per minute. So packed four items per minute. So this will be your final answer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.